Well, howdy again, tubers, for today, anyways. Um, didn't know I was coming out and was going to fly, but I did. Didn't we, Spike? So we come out and flew around for a little over a half hour. And anyways, I thought, well, then this gives me the opportunity. Somebody wanted to see uh, the mag, mag hookup and and fuel so this will be for that subscriber i don't remember the name on that i'd have to go back and look and when i think about doing it i forget about going back and looking to see but anyways uh you'll know who he is i guess okay well the i think they call that the p lead which is going from here to the P lead on the magneto and then this top one I've just got it going over here to ground and then of course now this wire goes into the mag switch and then from there, that wire goes to ground. So that when you, your, your switch is actually backwards. The switch, of course, you know, normally when your switch is on, it's making contact. Well, in this case, that's off. So you need to turn your switch upside down, you know, so it's oriented the way you normally think of it. So uh, if that makes sense, uh, that of course if the switch was on then that would be that would mean it was making uh, a connection in there and it would be grounding out your engine so it isn't going to run so you just turn your switch upside down and put it in the on position and the on position will mean the switch is open and which will allow the engine to run so the other the other uh, system that the guy wanted to see was the fuel system which this is your gascalator and of course the fuel comes through the firewall into the gascalator and then i've got it running around here into the carburetor i don't know if that can be seen well i guess if you look hard enough you can see it i, I know i can see it in the video so that's that and of course this on the back side of the uh, if i got don't know if you can see my finger there or not but anyways that's the uh, your oil temp sending unit and of course these here are your oil lines going for your oil cooler slash um carb heat which of course you know they didn't do any good until the engine warms up some and then that warms up this pipe to keep to help keep ice from forming in your carburetor because it's heating up the carburetor all those pipes wrapped around the intake y tubes and then i've already gave already told everybody about my oil system and the oil cooler so we don't need to get into that one uh but then a continuation of the of the gas well it comes let's see turn on the light there you see it comes out of the tank and then there's a shutoff valve and I at the end of the day or the last flight I always turn that off to kill the engine and so let this let just let it sit there until the engine quits and then uh, I know they don't recommend a filter, but I've got one in there. And then, of course, then it goes through the firewall there to to that gas glider. So that's all there is to the fuel system and uh, and the mag. So I hope that helps whoever it was that was wanting that. And maybe I'll go back through there and see who it is before I put it on there. 
Well, Spiker here woke me up six times last night to go to the potty, which was a record. About every hour and a half or so, he'd wake me up, but at least it's better than him pottying in the house. Is that right, Spike? Is that right? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Was that a yes? Was that a yes? What was that? Okay, well, we'll let these people go and we'll get you something to eat. Okay. Okay, well, there you go. Hope everybody's safe and God bless.